Hi YouTube, it's 08449. Uh, yeah, this is just time for another little um, update video of my layout. Um, so yeah, let's just um, move on with it. Um, not much has been happening on this area. I've started on the uh, base coating of the scenery. Uh, as you can see, there's now some brown areas that will um, eventually have static grass over the top of them. So yeah, not much has happened here. Um, I still haven't made a move on the uh, bridge area. I've uh, measured it all up, cut it all out, um, but I haven't actually installed it yet. <clears throat> Coming around here, I haven't done any work on this bit of track in the middle. I'm going to leave that for the moment, so I can do that a bit later on. Uh, nothing's happened along this side, but this is where I've been doing most of the work on the scenery. Now, um, I have been doing a previous little um, video mini-series on how I'm doing my scenery, and that focused mainly on this area here. Well, as you can see from the last video, I haven't changed it much, um, and it's uh, exactly how it looked um, when, if you've watched the previous video, it's exactly how it looks in that. Um, but for people who haven't, um, basically, um, this is the base scenery. Um, I haven't got enough trees and stuff to add the top layer of scenery and big bushes and things like that. Um, so basically, is what you can see here is um, static grass, few bushes, as I said, two trees, nice big clump up here. Um, what you can see just here is the start. To the tunnel entrance, it's um, the glue still drying, and there's one more bit to go on the closest side to us. Um, that's the reason for the coach being here. I just check the measurements, and they all work nice and fine. Um, so yeah, moving around, um, I've been doing a little bit of stuff like this, um, creating tracks and stuff. Um, this field here, which you've already seen, I've just added some more um, uh, bushes and stuff over the top of it. I've stuck down the buffer just there, um, added more bushes and stuff around the back. Um, coming down this side here, I've done the static grass in the middle and again added some more trees and bushes and stuff. Um, actually, most places I've added just bushes and static grass, so I'll just um, give you a quick show around. Um, yeah, this piece here, which you see is lighter, I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with it yet, um, but it's very lightly I'm going to add just a small clump of trees there, about three or four of them with some thick bushes in between, and then put some fencing around the outside. Um, to stop animals and stuff eating the trees, so that's what I'm going for, and possibly say I'm not quite sure at the moment. Um, but yeah, actually, I'll just say that's another thing you can see. Um, the difference between if you paint the base green, if you paint the base brown, you see the different colours is quite strong, and I think the brown looks a lot better than the green. Um, so that's why I'm starting to paint the rest of it brown before I put the static grass on it. So yeah, this has all been static grassed over. Nice bit of stuff here. Just come out so you can see the whole of this. Um, as you can see, I think it looks quite good. Um, there's still a bit of work to do, as I said, more trees, bigger bushes, things like that, I need to add in little buildings, anything like that, um, so that will be coming. I'm um, talking about little buildings, I've built myself a little shed out of matchsticks, uh, it needs painting because the um, white, yellowy coloured matchsticks are too bright, so they need dulling down, also needs weathering, um, but it's quite simply just a little shed for um, the tractor to sit in, um, if I remove it. As you can see, it's quite basic. Just a, just a slanting roof, made out of matchsticks, little bits, bit of wood glue. I think it looks quite good. As I said, it'll be weathered, coloured and everything, but that is basically it finished. Um, so yeah, the track just fits in nicely. Um, yeah, coming on round, I've done quite a thick hedge looking thing here. And up to here, again, another um, divot area as you come in the field. Um, I finally put up the fence along the side with an open gate, uh, just there. A uh, bit more um, bushes and stuff around the back. I finally stuck that one down properly, and that's all stuck down nicely. Um, you would have seen all this static grass before here and here. Um, I haven't done much on there, but I may be adding um, another fence or something around this, um, but not as many bushes and stuff in this patch area here. Uh, around these fences here, there's some um, um, shrubs and stuff uh, running all the way around. I've extended the fence over uh, the bush, the hedge uh, row over here. So it comes, I added this little bit right in the middle, just there, right in the middle of the screen now. Um, that bit that you see there was added. Then coming around, um, I've also added up here on the other side of the fence. Um, so yeah, I think it looks alright. That post there still needs painting um, black, I haven't got around to that yet. And I've also had a little clump in here where the um, gradient of the, of the um, terrain was a lot steeper. So I thought I'd better add a bush there to sort of camouflage it a bit, make it look quite good. I think it looks alright. Um, so yeah, that's basically all the scenery I've been doing on this area. Um, I'm planning on adding another hill 
on this green patch you can see next to the road there's quite a dark green area up to about the back there I'm going to be building a hill like the one in front quite a shallow hill um, so it looks like that the track was cut out between it and that will just run on the other side there it will go up against a wall I'm hopefully going to be getting a wooden some wood to go in the back at the moment um, and that will there will suddenly will transform the look from the wall we'll get rid of that look of that white yellow wall and I think it'll look a lot better but basically that hill is going to lie up and sit on touching the wall um, so it's not going to go up and down I think it'll look alright <laughs> Um, so yeah, what else have I done? Just having a quick think. Uh, there's nothing else here I've done. Um, next pieces I've been doing is around here. Get the wire out of the way. Uh, once again, I've been doing some more static grass um, that links on from here. Um, I will probably be putting something in here to make this area hit like a bridge. Um, some metal thing about an inch long. Um, but I haven't thought about quite that far yet. Uh, once again, static grass. Some nice um, thick bush area. I've stopped it here on purpose because um, this side of it there'll be a fence up there and there may be car parking or something like that just here. Um, we'll have to have a look at that later on. Um, I'm trying to remember what you saw in the last update video. Um, so sorry if I'm repeating something. Um, but as you can see I've added static grass here. Um, again I've stopped that there because there's likely to be a car parking area or something here, gravel area. And then I need to put a, uh, an engine shed on this area, which I haven't done anything on these places here. Now, coming back on the other side, uh, again, a bit more bushy, rough in the corner here. And along the edge of the track here, um, there's some more stuff at the bottom of the fence. Um, so, yeah, I basically think that's it. Um, I'll just show you this, um, people who haven't seen it before. Nice bit of um, static grass down there with a... a a driveway and um, this will need some nice neat hedging plants flower flower bed something like that in this area same goes for this one but this one here I need to decide what I'm going to do with the road if I'm going to use the wood chip like on the other side or if I'm going to use gravel or something like that and we'll have to have a look I also need to build something to make that gate look like it's there on purpose um, I could build a little shed in there but more likely I'm going to build a fence going across um, to separate front garden from back one Fence going upside here, and I'm going to be building just a corner of something to fit on that uh, brown patch. Uh, but that's all to come. <laughs> I've done actually quite a bit recently. Uh, moving around here, I finally decided where the water tower is going. It'll be sitting just about there, um, and it will be designed to work on this track here. Um, so yeah, this track here will eventually, let me just move this stuff out of the way, uh, this piece of track here will eventually be stuck down properly and it will come all the way up to about here somewhere, about where the blackest is. Um, and I'm not quite sure if I'm going to do this, it will probably be a maintenance depot um, or a fueling station, um, something like that. I might build it, might extend this station here um, and fit some coal or something on top of it. Um, but yeah, that's what this area I'm thought thinking of, so I need, that's the reason why I stopped here. This area up here, all the way up to about the, where the black is, I'm leaving free until I've decided 100% what I'm doing with this. Um, I believe I showed you I stuck all the fence down. Um, I haven't actually put the card on this yet, I have got it though. But it's what I have done is I've halved the width of the roof. Um, as you can see, the original width was from the side to that green line. I've now halved it, as you can see there. Um, I think it looks a lot best like that. I'm going to be putting a layer of paper on top um, as like a roof look. Um, and finally, I've uh, just um, built a little corrugated iron wall. Uh, that needs painting, and that there is how it's going to stick into the ground. It's going to stay just there. Uh, that's going to extend right off to the end, um, where the um, where the board ends, and it's going to go back up to where that black uh, black line meets the green one, and then from there backwards, there's going to be more f fencing like this, just up here. I believe that will separate it up, and this wall here is going to go up to the track, a big entrance of some form, and then uh, down the other side there, um, it will go all the way down and create an area, um, which I can then turn into a scrap metal yard. Um, so yeah, that is basically all the updates. Um, hopefully in the uh, next updates to come, um, I will be uh, showing you scenery on this area, like the stuff behind me. Um, hopefully this will have an area covered. Um, I had to remove the track as I said, hopefully I'll get the wiring sorted out and the track put back down. Um, I've got to make this piece of track here work, it seems to be dead. I'm not quite sure why, so I'm going to solder on some, I'm going to solder on the fish plates here, add a bit of wire and stuff and that should fix it. Come back around here, hopefully I'll have the uh, this finished. 
Hopefully I'll have extended the station and have the other side finished and finally all this white stuff here painted down as well. That's what I'm aiming for for the next video. Um, we'll have to see where we go on uh, other little buildings and stuff like that. And hopefully in the next video I will at least show you a train running around the top level of the track. Um, as the bottom level won't be finished until most of the other scenery is done. So anyway, yeah, um, thanks for watching. If you have any comments, please leave them below. Um, if you have any questions, well, leave them below. Um, if you want to, um, especially if you want to see how this scenery is done, then check out my uh, channel. Um, just have a look on there. I've got quite a few videos on there now, covering lots of different areas and stuff. Um, yeah, I'm hopefully going to be doing a video on how I build trees. Um, I'm going to be trying to make trees like this. I usually make trees like this, um, but I'm going to be trying to work out how to use wire um, as opposed to wood and creating something like that. So yeah, that's all to come. Um, yeah, as I was saying, uh, when you're on the channel, if you like what you see, um, you think it'll be good, then uh, please um, feel free to subscribe. And uh, finally, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you soon.